Hey y'all, so I'm back. I know y'all been missing my cooking videos and stuff, um, but I'm trying to take it one day at a time, y'all. If y'all know what y'all been following me and my husband's journey, y'all know that we're going through a little something right now. But um, today I decided to make um, some breakfast. I said, why not? I made some um, fried eggs, some toast, and I made like this, like an apple cobbler type parfait type thing and it was really good y'all y'all gonna see it but first i started off with the fried eggs and um, I'll let y'all see me cook that whatever but anyway <sighs> y'all y'all just don't know all right y'all confession slash testimony like if y'all been watching me and my husband on tiktok y'all know that we lost our apartment um due to me being sick and some other reasons y'all um let's just say we made a choice and prayed about a lot of stuff to God and one of the things was to be generational curse breakers and with that if you know if you're a believer and you know then you know that comes with a lot of stuff you have to go through a lot of stuff to break that curse in your bloodline and a lot of people would understand you know the lengths and stuff God would put you through but it's all for a testimony it's all to give him the glory um, y'all we might not have our own place and stuff right now but we do thank god in the midst of everything like we have a roof over our head and we do have a way we can eat y'all like we may not have our own place and stuff right now but god is gonna bless us we've been having blessings along the way and We've been learning and growing. And um, one thing we've learned is that when you ask God for something, he is going to give it to you. But when you ask him for stuff, you have to be very specific. Because if you're not, then you won't get exactly what you want. But in that, we ask God for patience, not just with one another, but in just in general. Like, for example, if we go out in traffic and... I have road, road rage or something like that. God will give you patience through all of that. He will test you and help you with that. But you you have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of stuff to go through that. So with that being said, y'all, we have been going through all of this. Um, before we lost our apartment, we were homeless. We were staying in um, our car. And God blessed us with the apartment in three weeks. But... God, this time God is going to do something big because when you're immature to praying and immature to listening to the Holy Spirit and stuff, you, you, you have to ask for discernment. And sometimes you don't understand that people is people out here like witches and warlocks that will sit up here and pray bad against you and hope that you fail and you have haters out here. But I just want y'all to know that God is able. God is willing to help you. You just have to be willing to go through it with him. Um, y'all, I hope y'all really consider uh, giving Christ a try because you won't regret it. I promise you, you won't. We may not have everything that we want right now. But God is going to bless us Woo! with it. Because we pray out. and we, we do the work every <laughs> day. Y'all, I know I saw one to say real quick. That's the plate right there. But don't let people influence how God got plans for you. Y'all have a blessed one and stay safe out there.